Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, got a new project I've been working on recently. It's not quite home automation, it's automotive automation, an extension of my home, I guess, whatever. Um, anyway, so here, uh, here's my key fob. Yep, so 2003 Civic, clearly didn't come stock with this model or this option. Uh, obviously newer cars you can do that, I'm pretty sure VWs and stuff like that uh, come with this, so kind of cool. I'm going to lock my car so up and do the sunroof as well, I'll post some instructions and uh, another video showing all the parts that I use. Um, if you have an aftermarket stereo, or sorry, an aftermarket alarm system, it's this is a $50 mod. Uh, if you have just the stock key fob, um, it's, uh, it's about $80 and I'll show you the parts needed for that. Okay, forgive the mess, but uh, I'm going to show you the parts I use to control the windows, and it's pretty much off-the-shelf stuff. I was going to try and build something, maybe use like a microcontroller or something like that, but for the price, um, I mean, they work good, and they're by a respected company. So this is a DEI 530T. Um, DEI, it's Directed Electronics Incorporated, something like that. They make the Viper alarms, and in fact, all these are compatible with aftermarket alarms like Viper and other top brands. It's pretty simple. So this is the module that controls uh, your windows. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I'm going to post a forum link where I learned how to do this. Basically, um, this um, wiring harness here connects to your up and down switches uh, to control your window, like the passenger side. And then this bundle of wires here, and it's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, it looks it looks kind of intimidating. This goes to your motors um, to control your windows. So this can actually can control two windows, full up, auto up, auto down, or it can control four windows, like for a sedan, in either direction. So if you had a sedan, you'd buy two of these to get full up and down. So on top of letting me control my windows from my remote from my key fob. This actually turns my uh, driver's side window switches fully auto and a lot of cars, I guess brand new cars, a lot of them come with that nowadays, especially upper like higher class ones. But I mean, I got an 03 Civic, it had auto down for the driver window and that's it. Now I have full auto up, full auto down from my driver window and I didn't hook up the passenger switch like the one on the passenger side door, but if I wanted to do that, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So once again, this senses your switches, this drives output to the motor, and there's a power connector here. And um, if you have an aftermarket alarm, this is all that you need. Actually, this orange wire right here is an armed when ground sensor. Uh, super simple. When you either lock or unlock your car, there's a wire coming from your alarm system that's either grounded or it's not. And you connect this wire to it, and it just senses that, and it knows what it's supposed to be doing. Um, now, if you don't have an aftermarket alarm like I used to not have, so I've done this, I know it works. Um, this works with a factory key fob. This is a PAC PAC TR7. I actually bought this locally at um, a stereo, like a car stereo shop. Um, you need two of those, and I think they're like 15 bucks, so it kind of spikes the price on this project. These things are super versatile. I mean, I don't need them anymore, uh, but I know I'm going to use them again one day because they, it's like this intelligent, programmable, universal switch that does a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, what this switch does is one of the wires connects to the actual wire that goes to your driver's side door lock. And it's able to sense whether you've sent a pulse to unlock or lock your car door. And how I had this programmed was if it senses two lock, sorry, two unlocked pulses in a row, then it sends a constant out on one of these wires to this unit. In fact, I think it was the orange wire to the orange wire. So in other words, it detects two pulses on, I don't know why I'm moving my hand here, it detects two pulses on the driver's side lock, and then it flips on a latch or a constant to this unit. So you pull out your keys, you hit unlock, unlock, windows go down. And I have it do that twice, because if it's raining out, you don't want your windows just dropping all the time. And likewise, you install a second one of these on the uh, other wire for the door lock, um, and you program it to say, hey, when you lock uh, your car, latch it, put the windows up. 
Um, I'll show you some other stuff I have here. DI puts out some cool things. Here's another one. It's a 529. Um, I actually kind of bought this by mistake, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. It's a. It's meant to close sunroofs, but it doesn't let you automate sunroofs. So it hooks up to your alarm, closes your sunroof or your windows um, when you lock it, but it doesn't put them down when you unlock it. So it doesn't do what I want. I have an extra 530T because I'm actually going to rig this up to my sunroof. Kind of a bitch. To be honest, the uh, doors it was really easy you just have to splice into a few wires and i guess figure out where those wires are um another thing that's cool and i'm only doing this because it's an old car is this unit which i think was like 40 dollars it's way more complicated that's why i haven't done it yet but this adds this retrofits automatic headlight functionality this is a photo sensing cell here and most new cars pretty much all new cars turn your headlights on automatically when it's nighttime, right? Um, this unit just lets you retrofit your car to do it. Uh, anyway, look for the link. Um, it's for a Mazda RX-7, sorry, RX-8. I was able to translate his instructions to work on my Civic, no problem. So it's, it's, a, it's a good walkthrough.